We're going to be the icon normal. Let's close our object styles. Let's come back out to buttons. So here's our normal state and here's our rollover state. I do want to do one more thing. Inside of PDF and Swift export, one of the things we don't have is the ability inside of InDesign to track when the video is finished playing. So when somebody clicks on the play button, the video is going to play, but when the video is done, we don't have any way to switch out this button for another play button, or while the video is playing, we can't set it to a pause button and then know when the video is done so we can reset it back out. So one of the things that we're going to do is we're going to hide this button after somebody clicks it. So we'll get the benefits of having our visual language and graphic design control the user experience for the video, but once they actually click it, we're going to remove it from this stage. What that's going to require us to do is add a second action to this button. So let's come into the Actions panel. We're going to come down to Show and Hide. And in this visibility list, we're going to come down to Play Video. We're going to click it and then click it again so that we have a little eyeball with a line drawn through it. What this means is when this button is clicked, the first thing it's going to do is play the video. The second thing it's going to do is hide itself. So this will trigger the video and then move it away. And remember, we do have the video controls that are being applied to here the entire time. So let's save our work. Let's export this and test it in both of our different media outputs. Let's try Swift first. That's the one we've last used, so it's still selected. Click Watch the Trailer. Click our Play button. Now once I click it, it should disappear as well. And then triggers the video to play. Pause. Come over here to see Denny Hoarder.